Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Nicholas. I'm working for Shopware and today I'm not alone. <laughs> Again, maybe you saw the last video. Um, I'm here with an expert in JavaScript front-end Vue.js and this has a reason of course. I'm here with Sebastian Segevis or Sebastian for short. He's an engineering lead at Shopware and he's the man behind the upcoming, upcoming Vue 3 upgrade in the Shopware administration. And I will ask him about everything you need to know so you don't have to uh, ask him. Sebastian, hi. Hi, Niklas. Thank you for having me. Welcome. Okay, so um, let's start with something easy in case someone doesn't know. What is Vue.js? Where do we use it in Shopware? And why do we switch to version 3? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Vue.js is a progressive JavaScript framework, like there are many out there. And uh, we choose uh, Vue.js in the beginning for our administration part of the uh, Shopware software. And we are currently using version 2. And the version 2 of the Vue.js framework is end of life by the end of this year, so um, December 23. And therefore, we are migrating to Vue 3 currently. Mm -hmm. So no more updates from the vendor and it will become obsolete at some point and we can't ship anything that is not supported by the vendor because insecure. Okay, so exactly. <clears throat> one question before we start with the whole upgrade thing. Why do we use a framework anyway? I mean, with uh, ES6, so ECMAScript 6, um, JavaScript became a whole lot better. Why do we use a framework? Okay, so uh, we are using a framework because we do not want to reinvent the wheel all the time. And uh, all frameworks have th certain features and tools you can use to your benefits. And for Vue, the most used feature is the data binding, uh, or to be more precise, the two-way data binding. So this means you can put a variable in your HTML, and when this variable is modified somewhere down in the stack, Vue will tr uh, traverse this change all the way up and change this in all your template locations. And if you want to build something like this yourself, um, you will end up in document query selector in our HTML uh, hell. Okay, so it's basically uh, because we have less to do, so development is faster. Exactly. And for everyone out there who now thinks, well, why don't they use React? You can uh, gladly write in the comments <laughs> and discuss this with other people. Right now we are <clears throat> um, using Vue.js and I think this will not change in the f near future, right? Correct. Right. And uh, if you are interested in why we are not using React, I can share some light if you want. Yes, gladly. When we started the development of the uh, Shopware 6 administration, we evaluated multiple frameworks. And if I'm correct, it was Angular, React, and Vue.js. And we built the same prototype uh, with all those frameworks. And of course, they all worked. Um, Angular was not liked by many developers, if I recall correctly. And then the call was between React and Vue. And there we chose Vue.js because React um, has more frequent major updates, which uh, would cause us to break our software more frequent than our targeted release cycle. And that's why we went for Vue.js. Basically, the what we are doing now, this Vue 2, Vue 3 update has would have to happen more often. Yes. Um, talking about the upgrade, who will be affected by the upgrade? Um, essentially, we can say that anyone changing anything in the administration apart from apps will be affected by the upgrade. But we take certain measures to make the effort as minimal as possible. For example, we are using the compat mode or compat build of U3, which enables certain bridges um, for sometimes even internal API that uh, will normally would be deprecated or no longer there in Vue 3 is then still there. And we have a file you can check out on GitHub and we have all the features enabled currently. And this helps us mitigating the upgrade because 
certain things will keep on working and we will just get a warning in death mode that it is deprecated and it's solely working because of combat. And besides that, we have taken our own measures and um, implemented some stuff that, for example, filters and provides uh, still work with U3, even though they normally wouldn't. Yeah, and um, besides that, um, it's heavily reliant on how you use Vue.js. If you fiddle around with a lot of Vue.js internal API, you should get ready for a longer upgrade process because internal API is not publicly documented and therefore they freely changed that and they did. Uh, but if you stick out of that and you do not much uh, internal API stuff, you will be done pretty quickly because uh, the stuff you need to do are things like changing slot syntax in your templates and change some model bindings in your templates and then you are good to go. Okay, so mainly affected are people who are creating plugins, I think. And these plugins change something in the administration, adding something. And most affected are those users from the community that additionally use internal API. Okay, from Vue.js. Yep. Um, Our... How do I know that I use internal API? Oh, great question. So, um, for example, if you are calling uh, the, the this scope inside your Vue.js component, and then you access some sort of dollar variables, dollar this set dollar. or mm -hmm. this dot dollar parent or stuff like that um, is very likely to break. Okay. So uh, you mentioned compatibility mode. That is like a proxy between uh, the old syntax and the new code. Is that yes. right? Okay. Yeah, what, what they do in compatibility mode is they take the um, view three object and wrap the view two API, what was possible around there so that it's still available. Is that a problem in terms of performance? So should I switch when my plugin just works? You have to switch. Yeah, I mean, but but just imagine I, I have a plugin, right? The mm -hmm. update comes along and I go like, hmm, I test it and it works. And it's because of the compatibility layer. Oh, okay. Should I still change my plugin to work without the compatibility layer? Um, currently, you don't have to. But that's, of course, the next major goal to get rid of the compatibility mode once we successfully migrated. Mm -hmm. um, but then we will start to deprecate things ourselves yeah. and get rid of it as quickly as possible. So uh, it's, most it's likely with the yeah, next, next major, probably. Okay, so when will the switch happen to view three? Yes, uh, we are currently working on this. And if everything goes to plan and fingers crossed it will, uh, you can expect uh, these changes with the next major, most likely at the beginning of next year. Mm -hmm. which would be 6.6. .6. And yes, no promises made here. Um, yeah. We are trying to have it uh, in the beginning of next year, but we will see. I mean, this is a video on the internet. You can uh, <laughs> see how that went. Okay, but uh, can I see the changes beforehand? Yes, um, all of the changes are already available in our trunk branch. So we are using Git for our software development and you can find the project on GitHub, uh, shopware slash platform. And there on the trunk branch, uh, all the changes are currently in there. Mm, and we have done this using a feature flag. Mm -hmm. And a feature flag is nothing more than an identifier to change logic or certain behavior in the code. And we so have an... Wait, it's, it's like a big if else. Exactly. Okay. Yes, it's exactly that. So what you do is you enable view three in a configuration file for your environment in the .env, for example. And in the code, we do then the following. What Nicholas just described, we check if view three execute this code, else do the view two code. And this way we migrate okay. gracefully. And feature flags are documented in the documentation? Yes. They are. Perfect. So um, now we know what Vue.js is, why we use it, when the change roughly will 
um, occur and who will be affected by it. Now, <clears throat> also where we can see the changes now, but how do I prepare best for it and how much work will it be if I'm in the position of a plugin developer? Okay, so if I now envision that I am a plugin manufacturer, what I would do right now is I would check out the trunk branch, toggle the view three feature flag and see if my plugin is still working. Most likely it's not. And then you take a look at the code and how we use the feature flag. So in JS code, it's pretty uh, simple. There's a service that you can inject uh, into your components. It's called feature. And on this service, you can call a method is active. You find this everywhere in our code. Mm, and then you can toggle in your JavaScript code. And for the templates in the trick files, it's the same. There is a simple if statement where you can branch um, between view two and view three. That's how we do it. And I would do it the same for plugins right now. So I, I or you could start the compatibility work right now. You don't have to wait until the RC or major. So you do not just look into the changes that Shopware did, but you can just implement a feature flag yourself and use it. You don't have to implement the feature flag yourself. You can just use the feature flag and then behind this feature flag, do the changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, sorry, that's what I meant. Yes. <laughs> use the exi existing feature flex. So also customers could potentially check that on a 6.6 version from now, from the trunk. Exactly. That's awesome. Sounds a little uh, like, like some work, but uh, doable when you stretch it over a longer period of time. Um, yeah. Speaking of work, this is a bit of a shameless plug, but are we looking for people right now? <laughs> We are always looking for talented people right now. <laughs> okay. No, seriously, um, for everyone out there, uh, I, I had to to put this somewhere um, because we are looking for developers. We are looking for people. Uh, go to the URL that you see um, if you are interested in uh, helping doing fancy stuff for the future. Okay. So last questions. Um, are there benefits in using Vue.js 3 besides it not being end of life? Because the main reason for us to switch to a new version in this case is not the fancy features, but because the fancy, feature, fancy features that we use now will be end of life in a couple of months. So is there another benefit that you see now? Okay, so um, generally speaking with Vue 3, they again promised um, increasing performance and smaller bundling size. Um, for Shopware, we have not done um, any performance measures right now because we are in the middle of transitioning and it would not make sense currently. Um, but yeah, that, that's one thing you could say. So they promise better performance, smaller bundle size, which is always great. And of course, there are all these new features with Vue 3, for example, the composition API or fancy stuff like teleport and composables. Mm, yeah. All right. I hope that clears some things up, some questions around Vue 3 and the update that is upcoming. Sebastian, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And for everyone else, if you want to join the discussion, Come to Slack at slack.shopware.com and there is our community and you can also uh, talk to some developers from Shopware if they are around at that point. And if not, there are plenty of people who are happy to talk to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.